my name is Anna. I will be your chef today on Fuse Food and I will be making an Indian food. I will make dal and tuna cutlets. So now we'll start, we'll cut the onions. Um, so one full onion and uh, three garlic um, cloves. So, so we'll just make it ready um, to fry. Like I don't like when they're too big and everything, but like too small is like puree. And now the garlic also, so around three cloves. So you should cut your garlic in half and remove the st stem in the middle. It gives a bitter taste and apparently you cannot digest it. Like garlic is good with everything. And then you can even put like garlic puree and all if you're lazy, but uh, this is nice. <laughs> so we need a cooking oil, not a very strong flavored one, like any regular vegetable oil. So you put it like normal amount of like fry a bit. So first you put the seeds, so you put cumin seeds, which are these ones, you can get jira whole cumin seeds. And then mustard seeds also. I really like mustard seeds, so I put slightly more, uh, like a full spoon. And you, you see that pop. So one full onion and two, three cloves of garlic. So one spoon of turmeric, powder turmeric. So spices have to cook. That's why you have to put them in this process. Otherwise, eating raw spice is um, not very nice. Then you're meant to put, uh, if you have fresh chilies, you can put one chili, or you put chili powder. So we shall put chili powder, because no fresh green chilies grow in Manchester. Um, the chilies are here. So half a spoon, yeah, like smallish spoon. And now is the time to salt it. So let's put one um, spoon of salt, one teaspoon, like, and mix it all. Then pepper is a choice. Like I put pepper in it, so pepper will come in now. Pepper is here. Only slightly bit of pepper. It's nicer to put at the end on top. Time to add one big tomato. So we chopped our tomatoes already and press them. Mm -hmm. And then mix it all up. So it is now ready. So I will lower it. And take it off the flame, otherwise the spices will definitely burn. So it's one cup for four people, maybe, and it really expands, and you do it on feeling. So one cup. And the measurement is so for one dose of dal, whatever dose you put, you put three times the amount of water. So 750 ml approximately of water. It's basically filling up the pan till the top. It depends if you like it thick or watery. I like it watery. So this. So back on the flame. So you, you boil it one time, just like fully boil. You see the lentils, the onions, and it just has to simmer. It will reduce a lot. It cooks approximately for 20, 30 minutes. So now we're going to cook uh, tuna cutlets. So it's canned tuna with potatoes and made in um, uh, cutlets, nuggets. And it's um, very nice and easy to make, and it's very good with ketchup. So now I'll start by heating up the oil that I put in the pan. Just a common base. And I'll put the, um, the mustard seeds again and the um, cumin seeds. And then same for cumin seeds. And to your taste, like some people hate cumin. I love cumin. So still one like small onion and a bit of garlic. Two, three cloves to taste again. And uh, we'll make it reduce. So while the onions are reducing, we'll take care of the mashed potatoes. So we'll just put it, like, mash them a bit, if they want to mash. But like, very vaguely. Then you add the tuna. So one can of tuna for one big potato or two, three small ones. So that's the ratio. 
And you can make it with meat also. It's really nice with like lamb, minced lamb or minced beef. And you can even and you put peas also in it. The turmeric is like it cures everything apparently. And uh, fresh turmeric is really nice to bite into. I had my first uh, turmeric experience. So just put a spoon. So we'll, we'll aim with this basically. That's like a small spoon. And um, maybe next. So we put turmeric, a bit of salt. Because, yeah, it's not nice to forget salt. You regret it a bit. So one spoon. I like putting the salt in this stuff, this little. Because you don't need to cook salt. So, give it a good mix. So we put the onions in um, the bowl. So. So, big bowl. Just mix it all together. And that is now ready. So we shall prepare the crust. So we need one egg and uh, breadcrumbs. And with the breadcrumbs, we'll mix uh, pepper. That's why no pepper in that mix. Because like, it will ruin everything. You have mustard seeds, everything. Way too much um, flavors. So now we'll make the crust. So we'll start um, with the breadcrumbs. Any, any regular breadcrumb. Like, they're nicer bottled though, like not fresh breadcrumbs. Or you can put the panko ones, they're really nice, the Japanese ones. They go well. And then you add pepper to it. Like, quiet pepper to your taste. Just um, quickly mix it, finely mixed. Then uh, one egg. And ta-da. Like quite well beaten. It will like enable the breadcrumbs to stick on the cutlet, because otherwise um, there's no point. And like beat them well so like air gets into it, they fully expand. Like it saves time, so just you go with your hands. Make sure you have clean hands, because <laughs> so like this. And this, in theory, you could eat it raw because um, it's, it's not raw. Like the potatoes are cooked, the onions are cooked, everything is cooked inside. So it's nice, like have a like sneaky spoon, cheeky spoon, flatish ball. Just an egg, fully so like it's it's wet in egg. And then in the breadcrumbs, full dive. It's nice when it's covered. It's, it gives a nice crust. So everywhere. And. Is this hot enough? It looks like it. Ta-da. Then another one. So once you put the cutlet on, so you leave it on one side for like two, three minutes until it becomes a bit brownish. And then uh, you shall turn it for two, three more minutes. And uh, it's cooked. So like two, three minutes on each side. And like, you can either have them like slightly cooked like this, or way more like fried and like crusty and all, but I don't like them like that. They're way nicer like this, all soft and uh, mushy. So now um, they're finely cooked. See, it's nice and cutely, cutely brown, this one. So you put them on the t on tissue to soak up the oil and get your ketchup ready. And to serve the dal. It goes with everything, with rice or anything, even with the tuna cutlets and uh, put yogurt. It's really good with it. So here's the food. Ooh, the so dal nice. and it's the really tuna good. cutlets. It's very good. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Can we dig in? Go for it. <laughs> Go for it. With this. This is amazing. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> How is it? Oh, so good. You yeah, approve? Okay. That's really nice. Bye. So nice. Mm. The spices nice. are just right. These are so good. Mm. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, it's well done. Mm -mm, well done. Can I put some tuna? And you like it with ketchup. ketchup? With the famous ketchup. <laughs> it goes well. Even yet, yeah, these, these two go really well together. And uh, with rice on top. 
Thank you for watching our episode today. Follow us on Fuse Food and uh, keep up for every Friday with uh, Fuse Food Friday. Cheers. Bye. See you. Bye.